Episode three. Yeah. Should be a bit short this one. Best feature. New feature. Mm. Okay. And it's called Is They Still Blocked by York on Twitter? <laughs> well, <laughs> well should we look? Should we look? <laughs> Yes, mate. I'm still uh, <laughs> so York, if you're listening still, I'm still blocked. So yeah, I'm still blocked on Twitter. Um obviously still still upset about that video. I don't want to say that video um can we say it's gone viral that with two thousand no, views. No, no. Not quite viral. Yeah. But yeah, it's had two thousand views, that video might keep you up is now. So I think um Junior must be watching it quite a lot and <laughs> trying to get some <laughs> some pointers out to win a game. Well, well, my, uh, well, I'm glad you're calling him Junior now. And yeah, not, uh, yeah. Wilson. Wilson Jr. No, yeah. well, it might slip back to Wilson later on. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yes, I am. I don't know if you know this, Dan, but I am now actually banned as well from York. You don't want me. No, I think it's where so you, you're not welcome. No, I'm not welcome. Yeah, well, welcome. So, yeah, so, no, we so we don't. Yeah. And I'll have to pop round for a coffee with him <laughs> and try and sort it out. But, but no, the social media stuff it, it is going really well. Uh, I think the Cards Out video for when we played Yorkers. I've got over 800 views, which is which yeah. is which is good for the first one. Uh, again, not quite at the levels of some of the others I've seen <laughs> in the thousands, but we're not we're not really doing it for that. We're just just putting stuff out there, and if people are interested, then we can watch it. But so far, it seems so far so good. A couple uh, of yeah. couple of cringe comments I saw. Uh, <laughs> I don't think uh, our pal Coddy was happy with it either, was he? I don't know what he, he put some on there. He won't. He's got a Vicky, Ricky Gervais meme, I don't know. I don't know what that meant. I don't know if that was... I think, I don't know. I think he still has nightmares about that free kick. That, I think he's trying to get his own back. He still <laughs> wakes up, he told me, in the middle of the night. Let's talk about last fixture. Yeah. Sheffield. Um, Sheffield fixture in the league. Back to league it was this week. 3-1 one, win. 1-3-1. Three, 3-0 one. Three at half-time to us. It was... Uh, what a great game. Sec- first half one too, but I think they hit the post a couple of times. I, I thought this one, I thought we might... I thought it was better. I don't know. I thought the second half just went stale. Well, I've started I've started to clip all the videos for the, the latest Corpside episode. It was recorded again. Yeah. And... We seemed in control for the majority of the game. I think they just had a few pot shots, which hit the post. Yeah. No, I think Pat pulls off an unbelievable save for one. It didn't. It didn't have the. I don't know what it was. I thought it was going to be bigger than because when we normally play Sheffield, the, the brilliant games aren't they? Well, under Jordan, when Jordan used to run them, you could guarantee if we went three 0 up second half, it had just been well, it had gone it had probably gone fly and just hell for leather at us. Yeah. They just, I don't know, they just seemed, I think what summed it up for me, you you brought the ball back from Pivot, you brought it back into our half, and they're just letting you have it, and That's nobody true. even come to challenge it, 3-0 down with 10 minutes left, and they're just letting you have the ball, yeah. nobody even put it a was, challenge on it, it. Yeah. it looked like they was happy to have a 3-0 defeat, I didn't, I didn't quite get what the game plan was, or, yeah, but, yeah, we was expecting them to come for us, and they just never did, and I, I think I, we was happy just to win. I think, I, think we, I think we spoke and I said uh, maybe it's maybe Fabs just looked at it a bit like what we did and just said we're conceding too many goals. And, yeah, maybe, uh, yeah. and maybe maybe only conceding three against us was a result for them. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It was, uh, one, still, one was a bit of a strange. It looks game. like they've totally changed how the play, the defence has changed. I think they're sitting in a little bit, they're not Yeah, they're they not running just, after everything. They just bang at us, weren't they? So yeah. when we got the ball that was on our case, weren't we? But I I, I still have, as much as they've changed it, it was still the same old, wasn't it? We just, a lot of people don't like our tactic, but straight into the pivot, they couldn't handle you. And then they couldn't handle, I don't think they knew that about Luka, they couldn't handle Luka. Well, Luka was brilliant. I think at one point he was about to bring bring me on, and I just said, keep keep him on. And I called, I think I called it earlier, I said, Luka, Luka, man of the match by far. Yeah, it was. I think he'd be just everything you wanted, pivot. He, he had it really, a trickery, kept hold of it. Yeah, it was his movement was really good. Yeah, it's just a shame the second half didn't open up a bit. I thought it would, but but it would be pointless us. I think trying to push on and go for more goals when you three up. I, I, I well, didn't that's really me. see any benefit for it for well, us. Well, that was that was my mentality of when I got the ball. I was just I just thought right, I'll just take it into my own half and see what they're doing. and just set off. Mm-hmm. I just thought we'll just well, you've got to come out and do something, and, and they didn't really, did they? Yeah. Just one mistake from us at the end, wasn't it? I think Jordan. Jordan's just Jordan. one to Pedro. He tried to spice the game up a bit, didn't he? And 
Ja, jeg har godt nok med dem. <laughs> det må jeg aldrig snakke om, at der får ja, all over igen. Det var gerne. 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 Obviously, a couple of players uh, moving between the clubs. Obviously, Pedro scored. Uh, Jordan did so well to nail the keeper clean sheet. <laughs> <laughs> did we pass one straight to Pedro? Uh, Adam and Reese uh, did really well. Reese looks a really good player. They were absolutely yeah. buzzing as well in the car row. Yeah, I, can I think they're on the right side of the result this time. Yeah. But they was loving it. But uh, fab, fab for me. I mean, that, that's obviously it was the, the reason he, he left us. Obviously, which at the time I think it was probably beneficial for both sides the way we wanted to take it. Yeah. And obviously the way Fab wants to play, but I must say he was he, he, he put he did put class on the ball. Nice. Yeah, he's still a class act. I think think he's maybe his legs can't. I'd have loved to see him ten years ago. Yeah, we'd have had him ten years ago. Yeah. <laughs> he was good for him last year, what he was really good. Yeah, yeah. He just a couple of things he did, he just he's still got it, he's still there, but I was up obviously up against him and He's you, you're watching him to try and see what he's going to do, but he disguises it so well. He plays balls around the corner between your legs, yeah. he makes you go for things which he wants you to go for, and then as soon as you've gone for it, he's out the other way. He's yeah, he's, he's, he's a really good player. We obviously we look fab, it was just obviously we couldn't get him to do what we needed him to do, and no. he didn't want to do what we wanted him to do, so obviously, but yeah, I'm not sure he's. Up for the management, I think Sheffield's up again, isn't it? For a, want a manager again, don't they? So, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I, I think Fab just wants to play. I don't, I've I think never asked him, but yeah. I think he just wants to carry on playing while he can. Yeah, well, I don't, I, I, so I don't know if he, I don't know if he turns up training every week. I, 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 I don't know, I'm not saying he doesn't or he does, but I think the biggest issue is, is, is the commitment to training, wasn't it? So, yeah. I think if you're taking that up an option, taking the management job, you, you've got to be there, <laughs> you've got to be there, right? Yeah, so. I don't and know. the game time suffers, doesn't it? He can't be on the court as much. It's well, he, yeah, well, he played. He, he was he was there a lot, wasn't he? he was I think that's what he wanted Jordan to do, wasn't it? Sheffield wanted him to, to not be on the sideline more yeah. and not play as much. But it's hard when if you're at that age where you want to play. Easy, yeah, easy for me when I I can't play, so yeah. <laughs> it's easy for me just to stand and shout on the sidelines. Yeah, um, but what is but, but one big disappointment's coming out of it. The Carl chairman from them. Um... Yes, yeah. Uh, I've, I, to be fair, I, I did go and try and speak to him after the game. Uh, obviously, once I've packed everything away and he'd already gone, uh, maybe I should. Well, I, I, I didn't want to do it before the game, just in case it was fireworks. But he's, he's yeah, mm, gone, gone a bit Been down. Been a bit underhand, aren't they? Yeah, gone a bit un- underhand, a bit down in my estimation. But I've tried, I've tried messaging to sort it out, and but well, he's, he's ignoring me, so. Oh, we might be doing a Twitter watch on you next week. See if, uh, I don't think I'm blocked. See if you're blocked. I, not yet. I can't be blocked. Not until this goes out, then you'll be up with me. So you can get on blocked. Yeah, next. I don't know. It's Like I said, I thought we already had a real good mutual respect between ourselves and Sheffield, but summer, I don't know, whether, since, I don't, can't put it down to John, but since he's left, it seems to have just gone a bit downhill. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, so kickings are back. Yeah, so I think everyone's heard enough of me ranting for the last couple of weeks. So let's let's see if you've got a little rant done this week. So have you got out for a kick in this week? Yeah. So I've just I've just mentioned about looking for cards. So obviously everything we do, we're, we're trying to progress and trying to be better. Um, we our venue, our venue has got three puts our cards next to each other. All got goals, but it made it nowhere near. T1 requirements right. so the only option would be to go across all three which mm, is possible but the uni obviously have certain yeah. tick boxes they need to meet in terms of books and putting on social badminton sessions which no one turns up to but we've got, <laughs> we've got to put it on and things like that so obviously my I've been looking this week uh, just for next season, can we play on a tier one court in tier two? That's that's what I've been trying to do and prepare for it. I think what we noticed is after the off game, and then coming back to play Sheffield in our court, I think we play a lot better on on a on a large court. The problem I'm finding is just not about, and I'm sure I'm sure Hippie Hammer 
I'll have some of Cambridge, I'll have something to say about this because I think he, I think he was in tier one and he had to move down purely because of his court size, which, yeah, it's unfair, but I'm, I can, I can see the level of the level of play does go up, so I can see why it was yeah. done. Uh, does it need to be the size it's at? Could it be slightly smaller? I wish it was. <laughs> so I'm finding a lot of. I think we need. What do we need to get? What's the size? Eighteen by thirty-eight. 30 yeah. 30 so the best I found was forty meters long. Right. By about fifteen wide because it was an old swimming pool that I've been converting. But I cannot find anything thirty-eight meters. Well, sorry, I can find two. One is a tennis tennis arena, which I ain't even had a chat with. It's just the only place where it's got a, a flat floor under cover. And ice arena, <laughs> which, <laughs> which is to, to be fair, that's all my game, wouldn't it? About where I go down. <laughs> uh, and obviously, the university, which is is probably the most realistic, it's just the chat and getting that, getting that finalized, and the cost of maybe having for them to stay open and the staff to stay court sizes for me have been a right kick in this week. Gee. I've got around every school. I've, I've literally, I've got a laser measure and I've measured every car. To be fair, I've got a good portfolio. I found some great uh, venues with balconies, pull-out seating, which no one, knew, well, I didn't know existed, uh, which we may be able to use for some of the other games, maybe the women's team and things like that and, and the kids' stuff. But uh, to look forward and try and progress, uh, like we look at Derby, who uh, obviously looks like they're going to be in Tier 1 next season they've got the university, I believe that's big enough, and this Derby Arena you went to, yeah, which looks, <laughs> looks state-of-the-art amazing. Yeah, very good this week. Do you think court size matters? Do you think it's, we could get away on a smaller court, like a 34B, or do you think it needs to be that big? I court think the games more? we've played, so we had the Tier 3 playoffs, uh, Tier 3 finals day, I think they were class games, Galante, who won that down? <laughs> <laughs> Galante, Reading, yeah. class games, we've obviously played Manchester, uh, Manchester once, twice, uh, one pre-season, one where we took the kids, then we played Manchester B, uh, that's a Nancy now, <laughs> uh, Manchester B, I just feel we play, then obviously York, Bolton as well, in the cup. Bolton, yeah, that for team, didn't yeah, we? Bolton, yeah, so the, the, the Manchester and Bolton one are, are hard to gauge because we, we, we don't know what, we didn't have our full squads for them. But from what I have seen is, I think it's our small court is holding players back. So yeah, even if we even if we make it slightly bigger for next season, just to give some of our players a bit more freedom to to express themselves, we'll obviously try and still focus on them for T one requirements. But yeah, there's there's I, I feel sorry. We've got a lot of venues, a lot of secondary schools with big halls. We can't we can't we can't we can't find the venue. I just literally cannot find uh, another venue. Obviously, the uni, the uni is the only realistic one, which we'll have a chat about. But I feel sorry for some of these clubs who are maybe looking to progress and don't have anything. I just no. don't. Like I say, I've seen Cambridge. It looks an incredible venue. Got all the seating, fill it with fans. But it's unfortunately just too small. So I can see why the, I can see why the, the league and whoever the FA whoever it is who was making these uh, requirements, I can see why, because I think it does bring yeah. the level up of the... I think uh, I can, I'd be gutted if it was us and they, and they kicked us out because our court wasn't big enough, but I can see why they do it. I just think you need that that extra room. I think it makes a massive difference. That's what we've found out now. When we've come back to our court, it's just too small. No, no. Too small. It's just... It's a leveller. When we was... Well, last couple of years when we weren't quite at it, it helps because you... The court isn't that big, so you can defend easier. Yeah. And it helps us massively. But now we're defending a bit better, we're a bit better on the ball. Yeah, we need the rule. Yeah. We need the rule now. Yeah, no but, one we played on, which didn't go to plan, that's essentially. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't talk about it. <laughs> Let's get back to the foul yeah, last yeah. year. <laughs> yeah, 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 that. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll keep hunting. I'm sure there's still another hidden gem somewhere. Yeah, there'll be one out there, there. Yeah. So on Sunday, is this the longest? Probably our longest away trip. Yeah, it's a big one. It's 270 miles there. 
near enough in Exeter, and it? it's not about an hour past Bristol, so yeah. that's a big trip for us. So Bristol Welsh, obviously, doing well in the Midlands Midlands League. Yeah, it's the, the second third in that league. Yeah, doing all right. Red in a winning it. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to be a tough game. Well, I think we can both qualify in the cup. I think whoever wins will qualify. Will go in the top eight. Yeah, I think there's a couple of. Others that yeah. could, I think Manchester B are playing their best team. When I've got a feeling there might be one in the top, one in the bottom for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe so they can win both cups, but we'll see. We'll see. It's just a conspiracy. But yeah, I think it's, it's it'll be hard. It'll be hard against Bristol. Yeah. What what we know about them, the pretty good team, big derby in the cup. I watched it. I yeah, derby have a couple of chances. It's one of them derby of um, derby of, like batter in the dark just won't go in. But I think was it four now? Four now for us though? Two now. Got one disallowed right there. Oh, was it? Been scored after the buzzer. Yeah, so if you're beating Derby, from what we've seen, then you've, you've yeah, got yeah, some and them. And milling them. So we'll go. We'll go. It's a long trip. We'll see. I don't know how they're taking the cup. They might have done what we've done in previous games and put young kids out. They might take it mega serious. I don't know. We've, we're going with the strongest squad out. We're probably not our strongest squad, but. Yeah, we'll give it a try. If we qualify, we do. If we don't, we'll play at Manchester in the final. 